Hi everyone. Um, if you'd like to hear some more about uh, Micro Gold and uh, basically the MGC uh, contracts trading these, um, please like and subscribe, and I'll try to uh, talk more about these. Um, it's mostly um, just to review this past month um, and see uh, various price action and just different indicators of what's been happening, and I do some charting on top of this. I hope you enjoy uh, everything that we're going to talk about today. Um, so perhaps the best way to start understanding what's been going on with gold um, is to look at the uh, volume profile, um, which I have uh, set up here. You can see that um, basically a lot of the volume has been uh, at two different levels uh, and not really too much in between. Uh, you can see for the past month, basically, there's more volume perhaps up here um, at the 1803 level, 1804. Um, but there is a lot of new volume uh, and some old volume uh, heading in from uh, 17 around 1727 level. So um, basically, it's really a big debate um, uh, between these two price levels. You can see that most people uh, would argue that the price should be higher. Um, and uh, basically, the most there's been more trading at those levels up above. Uh, you can see there's basically been uh, two kind of levels. Up above here, I'll draw both of them. One is at 1787, and the other is uh, about 1802. Um, so you can see there was kind of a peak value of uh, almost uh, almost uh, 2100, but it was basically right at uh, 2092, um, and then kind of the low level um, for the past year is at around 1696. So this is primarily just to look at this past month, but it does help to look at, uh, you know, last year as well. Um, looking at here, uh, starting in uh, 2021, um, and this is by week. So you basically have, uh, you know, you can see every week heading up into September here. Um, and uh, 2021 being back in here. So 2021 was relatively flat, um, hovering right around 1800. Uh, level so that's kind of what we were seeing on the other chart um, if you look here you can see this is about 1800 level right here in this past year um, so there was some price action uh, basically heading into the 1800 level but we've basically been dropping ever since about this time period right here I'll set up some markers here in a moment and we can go through and chart everything so right around this level which was 814 uh, 7 p.m. we saw a major drop um, that was pretty much one of the bigger um, drops um, of the uh, time period here we can look on the MACD and see um, basically there was another big drop back in here as well so there was uh, some pre-warning signs um, showing that there was going to be a drop there's a drop there potentially and then there was another uh, pretty high um, upward swing uh, basically from low to high so um, that looks like a drop but um, basically it's not really a drop it's just uh, uh, MACD is kind of slowing down in here in that range so that can also give us some warning signs of what might happen in the future uh, so when you look at the chart actually the biggest drop of the month was uh, well it's actually the last you know 30 or so days um, was back here um, in uh, July 5th so that's quite quite significant drop you can see that's perhaps the major um, point um, was basically gold was starting to drop right in here so you can see we bring this back to here um, that is uh, July 3rd or so so in terms of specific news you can see the Ukrainian uh, Russian uh, war here was uh, quite significant uh, events uh, around this July 3rd time. Um, so you can see there was uh, bombing uh, and some, uh, you know, uh, retreat by the Ukrainian forces. So the worst of it basically was um, from here around uh, 7.3 to 7.21. You can see that uh, MACD primarily um, was uh, negative values in this range with a couple of positive uh, spikes within there. So the part of this review is looking at the volume and part of this is looking at the price. Um, so the volume, um, if you look down here, uh, I don't have all the volume for it, but it's basically for the past month. 
Um, so we can kind of review that primarily, but you can see um, if we draw some lines here, just draw these in blue so you can kind of see what's been going on. Volume went up here, volume went down there, and then the volume went back up, and then the volume's been going back down again. So <coughs> higher volume, you can basically say that price is trusted more. So um, there's higher volume in this range here. And there's also some pretty high volume on the downside here, you can see. Um, so people were trusting this price right in here pretty heavily around 1736. Uh, um, so it's important to say though that the price is down at this level um you know though as a as the as this was going down um you know the volume was actually quite low so uh <laughs> from 814 to basically around 822 um, the volume was at the lowest points um, perhaps so you can also look at the volume oscillator um, some of this might be visible here so you can kind of see that uh, again that the volume did kind of decrease into here into the zero range um, and you can see that um, there was quite a lot of negative there's almost a negative channel here um, heading down uh, in the volume starting back in uh, eight eight, nine or so, so you can start to see that it starts to channel down. Um, and then that channel kind of breaks right around here and becomes an upward channel um, somewhere in this range, so somewhere around uh, 817 or so. So right now, uh, we're perhaps in a lower channel um, heading down in volume um, to negative. So this looks like very negative, actually, um, in general. Um, these some of these negative spikes have been pretty serious. Um, let's see if we can see that uh, on the main things. So you can see that there was some pretty negative spikes here and here um, on the volume. Um, so that shows up uh, on a clear volume oscillator pretty pretty easily. You can see this negative spike here and a negative spike here, and then actually another negative spike in here. Um, so and then a recent pretty serious negative spike. Um, so, uh, but the nice part about these is we can pretty much tell um, where that low point is in the volume. So you can say, um, typically we're looking at a lower volume around here, and typically we're looking at a higher volume around this level. So, um, so you can see that basically most of the volume uh, does tend to be positive on the spikes here. You can see a little bit around 600, whereas the negative volume is around 300 or so. So the average true range of gold, um, you know, typically every 60 minutes or so, um, you know, looks like it's fluctuating. It's kind of been uh, dry, you know, it's been getting to be less fluctuating, actually, uh, particularly right in here. You can see it was about three points, uh, three and a half points uh, per 60 minutes, and now it's up maybe to about four and a half points. So that average changes um, over time, and you can see that, uh, you know, sometimes volatility isn't so good uh, for the price of gold, so unless it's going up, um, but, um, you know, it just really depends on what the ATR is um, in terms of uh, things, so you can check that as well. Um, and then we can see the money flow here, so there's um, kind of, it's a little bit difficult, you could argue that the money flow is going down in here, um, and you can also go argue that it's heading up in here, and this is kind of channeling to a positive, uh, you know, positive money flow overall with these two lines. You can even bring this up a little bit here and bring this, uh, sorry about that. Um, so you can bring this one over here and bring this one basically back in here. So it could kind of converge, bounce around here within this range and then hit in here around 9-11. Um, which is an interesting date uh, to converge on. But uh, so overall in the past month, you can see that the channel was down. Um, you can see that there was basically pretty heavy down. Uh, uh, it's kind of hard to spot this uh, until you had the data from here. Uh, but by 8.18, you could pretty much see that it was a pretty much downward channel and converging too at the same time. Uh, similar to what we see now. So, and then this one looks like also a downward channel 
um, with kind of a spike. Um, so you can see another downward channel here uh, converging on a negative point. So that um, this particular instance right here, I would say is a very important uh, day on the, so if we do a vertical line here and change that back to pink, we can see that the money flow right in here was pretty important on 9.2. Um, so that money basically helped realign what was going on here, right? Without that spike, we could, you know, that was a pretty high spike. Um, but then there was this drop right after that. So that also uh, on this date here, um, you can see that was a pretty significant drop. Um, even going back to um, time frame, different time frame. So you can see um, there was more significant money flow drops here. Um, this was pretty negative, um, perhaps the most negative part, um, but um, not a good sign actually just seeing these low uh, spikes uh, on the money flow. Um, so really we can't uh, judge the money flow uh, anywhere beyond uh, 7.28 because we really don't have volume uh, for that to, to study it. So we have to kind of put a marker here on money flow. So, um, but basically you can see um, after this time frame when we did have the volume because uh, money flow is calculated uh, using price and volume. Um, so uh, it basically multiplies price times volume. Um, so. Uh, you can see that uh, there was pretty much a downtrend here um, and even on the money pot there was some positive money flow in here uh, as you can see there's some positive activity but right after this uh, date 814 kind of the money was starting to drop again uh, out of out of the market um, with a couple spikes here and there within the, uh, the days so you can see so overall, um, things have really been uh, not doing too good for uh, gold here. So you can see that uh, we are down at a pretty low level here um, around uh, 1722, 1727, um, kind of even making a level of support here um, and then having perhaps a level of resistance uh, up here. At, uh, uh, but we're pretty much in the lower channel of this um, if we are to argue that uh, this is kind of the uh, level of support. Um, there are some signs to see support here. So we can see a couple bounces off of this low level of uh, 1700 um, and then even a bounce back in here. Um, so it's a triple bounce uh, off of that level with uh, some support showing in this level here. So um, it could be a low um, for this. Uh, but when I look back at the money flow, um, if I were to clear out some of these drawings here, um, and just clean this up a little bit. You can kind of see a little bit better. So on the money flow chart, you can see that this was definitely, this is definitely a, a downward trend in here. Um, and then we kind of had um, some upward trend here um, and then some upward trend here. But then again, it looks like it's kind of heading back down. Um, so we could see in the short term, um, perhaps some more downward trends, um, just because there's a lot of pressure from the downward trend that we saw um, previously. So on the volume chart, again, we see that, um, you know, there is kind of a couple big spikes of negative volume in here that look really bad um, and not too many positive spikes. So there's a couple positive spikes, but basically all the major uh, downward trends have been pretty negative spikes uh, since about, uh, well, it started around here. So let's just put a marker on a vertical right there. That's a pretty important uh, date on this guy here um, but basically that's uh, that day is 925 um, and so um, it looks like that was kind of a um, harsher day for uh, the whole market and everything so um, it's pretty important to kind of keep track of uh, what where these points were and what was the original cause of this so um, so you can see that what happened around that time was uh, it was all the debate about the uh, what, what's going on with the Ukraine's state nuclear company. Um, they were being attacked by the Russian 
uh, invasion here so they got disconnected and then uh, for the first time in history so that was a pretty big deal uh, in terms of nuclear power people were kind of concerned and that might have been uh, one of the reasons for such negative volume on that day so as you can see that was pretty much the most negative volume of the history for the whole month uh, or a month and a half um, you can see here going back September and August um, so it looked pretty bad uh, just that one day that was actually the peak um, higher than the highest gain here. So the gain was back in here um, of 810 um, and then looking at 826 uh, here. Um, so last but not least, the ATR, average to range again. So I would say that, you know, we're pretty much looking at an average to range when we get into around four uh, and a half. That's pretty much where we want to be at. Um, maybe no, in fact, even three in, Three and three point eight five looks a little bit safer, uh, so we are heading into a local range of about three point three point eight or so. Um, that has dropped recently, um, so you can see. Um, but there has been some spikes, um, and these are actually quite high spikes uh, fairly recently, going back to nine one. Uh, so that's about a week or so ago. Um, so that looks like a pretty high spike um, and that kind of stuff um, we got to be watching for because basically it was at the end of the downtrend and it was even more uh, heading down so um, but actually then it started to come back up as the ATR dropped here so you can see um, that the price uh, you know obviously having too much price fluctuation is a little bit dangerous so that's one thing to watch the ATR for um, you can also check the daily ATR um, and you can see that, um, you know, on average, it's moving about, uh, you know, at the lower range here, which is great, uh, $22 or so per day. Um, so that's, you know, up and down trends quite a bit, um, uh, but it's a significant move. So you can also see back in here that, um, you know, the prices were doing best when the ATR was high. Um, but then after that, it started to drop. So you can see, um, you know, maybe the more stable points were down in here uh, for the price around 2007 um, because the ATR was leveling off a little bit. So this was quite, quite a lot of dramatic changes uh, in the market, um, you know, heading into 3.9 and uh, uh, 22. Um, so going back to this past month, you can see that in general, we've had a pretty major downtrend um, and we are kind of perhaps at a lower range of the MACD. So basically we expect some kind of bounce in this level, maybe a further downtrend, but not much further. Um, maybe uh, you can see this is around 21 points uh, um, and you know, upwards of, uh, you know, that's 21, that's maybe another uh, 30 or 35 points uh, heading up. So um, we really don't know what the ATR is going to be, but um, it could be, um, you know, somewhat related to the MACD here. Um, so you can see we almost have a crossover here. So heading back into positive territory um, for the MACD, um, but that still might take another day or so um, to do the cross, but we really were starting to do a crossover on 9.2. Um, and you can see these other uh, drops here. So we basically had a pretty significant um, drop starting back in here, according to the MACD. Um, it still shows positive uh, crossover, but you can see on the chart it's converging. And then here it's kind of like waning and kind of getting close to dropping. So it actually started to drop pretty significantly right in this range here. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this study of gold. Um, as you can see, uh, we definitely come down from a high peak here, uh, many hundreds of points. Uh, so that's kind of a concern right now. Um, and whether or not we'd go back up and how quickly we'd go back up is part of the question. So we are kind of hitting at a lower level here um, and it does show quite a lot of support. Um, even above this level, if you look back into 2001, you can see that we had support um, up at 1802 um, and that was even more traded so there's perhaps more support so we are low, kind of below a level support and even finding uh, a lower level support um, so maybe this is going to act as resistance now um, as we try to head back up the previous level of support. Um, anyway, so I hope you really enjoyed the study. Um, there's just so much to look at uh, in terms of data for the gold, uh, both in price and volume and all these other indicators. 
Um, let me know if you got any questions about any of the indicators, um, how I was doing some of these studies um, and things like that. I'd be glad to talk it over with you every week or so. Um, I'm going to try to present uh, one of these things uh, to review how uh, gold has been doing, how oil has been doing, um, and then how the regular S&P 500 has been doing. Um, let me know if you got any questions. Thanks again uh, for listening. Hope it's helped you out a lot. See you. Please like and subscribe.